this is Cannonball. This is Johnny Drake. And we're here to sign you off to this match. So far, K-Dub is from, taking the headlock. From Dub City. All right, Austin starting to fight back. Kevin to the ropes. Oh my God, the power in Austin. Austin he actually hit very, down K-Dub. Austin's, this is very rare that Kevin is the one who's knocked down. Mo Kevin is mainly a powerhouse a rough freight train, he's knocking everyone over, but today it seems like that is not the case. Refereeing this match is Fernando Barrera, one of AOWF's finest. Oh, and K-Dub working Austin into the corner. Ooh, a devastating chop. Throws him off. Oh, nope. That man, that was unsuspected. Wow, great execution by Kevin Dove. He's working on the back. Oh, and a great heel move. Way to go, K Dub. Let's keep him right in the corner. Now, obviously, Jonathan, you know what it's like to be the person who's taking the heel abuse. And just what is it like? Painful. Uh huh. Austin starting to fight back. And it's a sidewalk slam for, and it's most likely going into a pin. And it's a one, two, kick out. That was a very close finish. Who could have guessed that K-Dub kicked out, but he is the K-Dub from Dub City. All right, Kevin's slowly working up. Giving Austin some heat in the corner. It appears Austin has injured his back. I think there was a slight malfunction in that move. Kevin going to the back that Austin seemed to have hurt. Oh! Bring him into the corner with a devastating choke. Great technique. Great technique, Kevin. What are you talking about? What do you mean? It's strategy. Great use of the ropes by K Dub. See, I talked to K Dub earlier today. Wow, great move. And he said, where he comes from in Dub City, you gotta fight to live. If you can't fight, you die. That may be true, but we're not in Dub City anymore. We're not even in Kansas anymore. We're here in California, sunny California, in AWF. This is wrestling. You don't cheat. You have a nice match. You do what you gotta do. Oh, look at the power and unique style of Kevin. He's still working the back. I think Austin's gonna have a sore back tomorrow. Yeah, you see, the good thing about K-Dope is he really can pinpoint a part of the body. If he sees your back is hurt, Damn, he works the back. If he sees your leg is hurt, he works it all the time. Now let's see Austin in a sleeper hold on the floor. He's getting up. Might just be working back. He looks a little drowsy. Oh, and the comeback is devastated. The power of K-Dub is unmatchable. Still pinpointing that back. It's still going to hurt. That's going to seriously hinder Austin in his move. Great technique by Kevin. Austin's power game is being taken out because all his strength is from the lower back. Yeah. K-Dub's working that. I don't know. Kevin is just restricting all the power from the back. I don't know if Austin could lift up K-Dub anymore. Can Austin use some of his reserve power to fight out of this? I guess we shall find out. Kevin in the ropes. <clears throat> Kevin kicking, punching, and it appears again that Kevin has the lead. Ah, oh, come on, ref. You can't be choking him. That's illegal. Come on. Good execution by K Dub. Oh, oh, what power by Austin, even though he has been brought down by Kevin. 
This match is a very good contrast of styles. Kate up from the streets, very powerful. Austin, blue collar, get things done. Strong, big, smart. Two from opposite worlds coming together, and only but one, the ring. And it was a quick kick out by Dub. All right. Oh, Austin, Austin, whoa! A devastating suplex by Austin. You see, that's gotta hurt more than pretty much anyone else because Austin is way bigger and that's a higher place to fall from. It is. It's amazing how he can still pick up Kid up after all that punishment. Yeah. Back. Kevin kicks out. Both contestants seem to be tired at this point. And they have both given their physical health. It appears Austin is starting to come back. A nice kick to the back of the head. That has to be devastating. Destroy One, two, three. Oh. Kick out. You can't keep down dub. Again, we bring you this match from Drazen Square Gardens, located in sunny California. <clears throat> Kevin misses. Oh, a double down. So let's talk about some of this match. What styles do these two guys have? Well, Kevin is a down, dirty brawler. He heal. He's a smash mouth kind of dude. He'll punch you in the mouth. Austin, he's kind of got that quality, but he's more of a technical. Wrestler. Yeah, he's a hard slammer. And he's more technical. He's Barrera more counts to three. Yeah. Four. Here's that they're having a hard trouble getting up. That clothesline must have taken tons out of them. Yeah. I mean, both speeds colliding. Oh, Austin. Austin, trying to get getting the, the crowd. I guess it's not working. Here he goes, firing up. Oh, oh, up comes back. That's oh, Austin. back and forth, oh. returning blows. Austin. Austin appears to have it. Oh, look at the power! No, the power. no, oh, no. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, and Dub with his. Oh, oh, Austin slips out of that. For the moon. Oh, that is it. I think K Dub is out, up. folks. One, two. Three, oh, that is it. Austin Kick appears back. to have won this match today. With his driving in the moonlight for the pain, this is Winner. the Cannonball and Johnny Drake signing off. Is this on? K Dub, that which by day is abyss, by night is heaven. I went into Dub City and I came out victorious. And all your antics, all your cheating, everything that you do that is against what I believe in, that's against respecting these fans, I came in and I conquered it all. Austin Morrison just got one up. Goodbye. The true measure of a man is not where he stands during the moment of comfort, but where I stand during the moment of challenge and controversy. No excuses, no excuses. But I've had a lot of pain and sufferance on my shoulders. I carry this damn city on my shoulders. And yeah, Austin, you came into Dub City and you snuck out with something that was very, very dear to my heart. And that's a victory. They don't come very easy in Dub City. Because like I've told you many times before, there's one way in and no way out. And I guarantee you when I see you one more time, it might be in the ring, it might be in the back for all hell mighty, it might be in 7-Eleven. But there's going to be Snickers and ice cream and Slurpees all over you. And you're going to be thrown through some windows and I guarantee you, you're going to be bleeding red because you came into Dub City. Holla.